guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to bring to episode 8 of Horimiya. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> that hurts so much. Just right here. We all knew you for a while, I'm sad. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and 
as precious of Sengoku. Really? Oh. Okay. You like twisted shit. I love that. <laughs> Thank you together. Oh. Think I'll go. <laughs> oh, he's so cute and innocent as fuck. I don't know why, but I'm kind of getting like holding me vibes. No, did I just say holding me? My bad. Freaking um, Hayoka. Mm -mm, right here. Thank you. No, my thigh. Oh, I know that feeling. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but she likes you.
It wouldn't surprise me if they kiss in this episode. You were gonna say something, Yummy. Stop it, I can't. Yeah, and plus there are some guys who get their toenails or nails painted and it's fine. You look good, honey. That's your Neku side. Thank <laughs> you. 
Izumi, your neck and rocks is definitely showing. Oh my god. She got confessed to and she turned him down, didn't she? Yuki. I mean, you guys look good together. You work well together. <laughs> mhm. Mm yeah, you can. <laughs> Yuki, you sure you want to do this? Because I mean...
you know, okay, Yuki, if you don't want to date him, just, you know, send him to me. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, and he probably looks good with glasses on. No, oh, Yuki. Because everybody normally goes for Kyoko. That's true. Oh. Oh, fuck. He's so cute. <laughs> Somebody help him go get some damn glasses. <laughs> okay. To have, like, really, to have a whole episode not to be featured on the relationship of, you know, Hori Mia was interesting honestly i do like it when some shows end up giving focus to the other characters except always you know the main two our love interest because you know yes it is their show but it is also everybody else's show at the same time um <laughs> sengoku and remy they, they cute together like hmm, they better fucking date by the end of this damn series yuki oh, fuck. yuki might be best girl i mean kyoko i love you I love you so much, but, oh, I feel like I relate a lot more to freaking Yuki than Kyoko. Like, I, I relate to Kyoko, like, a teeny tiny bit, but Yuki, it's just, like, out there, <laughs> like, so much, and you're usually, the only thing I can compare this to is you have a friend, whether it's you and a girl, you and a guy, whoever, you are the second choice than your best friend your best friend is the hot person and you're the semi-hot person like you get people but not as much as your best friend kyoko and you know oh my god like yuki yuki oh yuki i i want her to date toru but then, yeah i mean you had this nice hot gorgeous good looking redhead long side of a hair just oh, bad boy easy me and this dude fucking hot ass fucking bad boys what is wrong with this show i mean seriously why 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 are you giving me cute bad boys that's exactly what you're giving me you're giving me cute bad boys bad boys guys who are not even considerably bad boys who do bad things but you know if they have like piercings or something like that, of course they're going to be considered the bad boys and ish and everything. Or like alongside part or stuff, still going to be considered a bad boy, even though he hasn't done anything bad, like stealing or anything, or in a gang or some shit like that. But like, why? <laughs> There's too many cute damn guys in this show, and I love it though. But oh my god, like, I don't for Yuki. If I was in the situation, because both Toru and Akane, I think his name is. They're both good looking and this would be a really hard decision to choose from because like I said, they are both good looking and such. But it's always about, it's the compare and contrast one, um, who makes you more happier, 
how do you feel when you're with person A versus person B? I mean, hell, we could do one more test, but this is the test of, you know, <laughs> not safe for work. <laughs> because I think all of us, essentially, you know, whoever we're wanting or we're crushing on at the moment, whether it is... um well, I can't say anime because well, when it's anime boys, you know, <laughs> that's everybody for us girls. <laughs> Probably the same thing for guys as well. But when it is someone, a real person who you are crushing on or a group of guys you're uh, crushing on, there is one test <laughs> that you can do to kind of like get your... um. <laughs> You're like 100% or 110 or 1000% like, yes, this is the person who I want. And that is like <laughs> the moan test. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I, but it, it's up to Yuki at the end of the day. Hell, it's up to the freaking creator of this damn series and who uh, I'm guessing the writer is a she, maybe. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Um, whatever the writer of this, the creator of the series, essentially, whoever wants her wants Yuki to be end up with and it's like that that's who because both Toto and Akane are really good for her and I, I don't know can, can she have them both can we have a three-way please like just this once I mean I'm not that type of person who really likes to condone this but because of the fact is like this is technically a love triangle and everything I mean hell this show started as a love triangle and now it's just like I, I don't know it, it's everywhere it's like squiggly lines going to <laughs> certain places I can't imagine how they're gonna like make a little poster of the connections and everything and then this person is in love with that person and so on and so forth it, it'll be freaking hilarious but I, of course I would love it so much but I I like the way she's around both of them but I get the fact is that you know Yuki is like oh he's a little too good looking for me and such like that because I mean yeah he, he is pretty like pretty pretty you you want to talk about some goddamn good looking pretty boys this episode I'm just saying <laughs> but um I, I get the reason why she said what she said about him and saying how like oh yeah he's a little too pretty good looking and stuff like that because we've all kind of dealt with that and stuff and sometimes we feel like we need to talk ourselves down versus the person that we're dating or seeing at the time and saying like oh my god like you're too good for me you're too freaking pretty and then look at me I look average as fuck and such but you know Yuki you're a pretty girl and you should be able to date whoever you want to now, I mean whether you want to date Akane or Toru that's, that's okay if you want to date Toru that's okay cause like I want y'all to date please just do it just give me the <laughs> please I beg you but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of Hori Mia if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the Master Squad and of course I will see you guys officially out next Saturday for episode 9 bye guys